Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, your boy, Yonko Tom here. You know, the GOAT. Today I'm actually back with a command tutorial on uh, two custom One Piece attacks that I made. A stamina and a hockey system that can, that are both like right there. I think y'all can see it. And I'm going to be showing you how to link these attacks with the said stamina slash hockey system. Now before this command tutorial starts, you're going to need a few things. First up, okay, hold on. You're going to want to type in game rule, send command feedback, false. Then you're going to want to do game rule, command block output, false. Then you're going to want to do game rule, fall damage, false. And finally, what else you're, the other things you're going to need is a command block. It didn't show up in my inventory because, like, as you can see right there, I already have one. And you're also going to need a structure block, which can be, which is only accessible if you do the slash give, uh, s, well, slash give command. Alright, so first we're going to work on the stamina and the hockey system, and then we'll go on to the special attacks. Now the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to want to add a scoreboard for these certain things. You're going to want to do scoreboard objectives, add stamina dummy. I already have one, so that's why it's going to pop up. Then you're going to want to do scoreboard players set uh, a stamina zero. And as you see, my stamina is set to zero, The reason, and you'll find out why it's regening later. Then, you guys are going to want to do... No, not scored. Scoreboard objectives add hockey dummy. Again, I already have it, so it's not going to give me another one. Then you're going to want to make it where it'll set the hockey to zero. So as you see, my hockey was set to zero. Now it's time to get on to the important parts of the command. Now this is the hardest part of the whole thing, so you're going to have to pay pretty close attention. I'm going to do a bit of scrolling and remove the L that's right there and, so you guys can type that down. But but I'm also going to copy this because I'm just going to also, just so I can leave it in the description down below so you guys can copy it from there as well. Just in, just in case, doing it from here is really difficult. So, like, I'll do both things. Now that that's done, we can get on to the other stuff. From this, you're going to want to remove your yourself one stamina when you hit 101. Next, for this command, this will add one stamina, and it has a 15 tick delay. Then, you're going to want to make it where once the, the hockey bar hits 51, it'll remove one hockey. And this right here will add the hockey. And just like the stamina, 15 tick delay. Now the the amount doesn't really have to be like 100 or 51. Like you could really just upgrade this. Like for an example, I can just upgrade mine to 250 and, and the stamina will rise to 250. But just for an example, I'm going to just do 101. But it's really up to you on how much you want the amount to be. Alright, so next up is going to be a bit tricky. So what, are your, what you're going to want to do is you're first going to need to type in a command like this. I think I've done enough tutorials for you guys to know how to do the whole different colors thing. And then you're going to want to drop the set attack on the structure block. Well, let me make sure it's just like exactly... On there, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be off by a bit. And then you want to set all these to one, 
and your structure is going to be strike. Then you're going to want to take this, put this back on always active, get your redstone block. Well, you're not going to need it right now. I'd recommend you put it on later because you're going to need these coordinates. So first you're going to want to put execute at IE with your tag, the score for the stamina, and this will test for the attack. Next, you're going to want to do scoreboard players, remove IA, tag equals Cobra, stamina 5, or, or whatever your tag is. This is how you link your attack with it. And this will set your set coordinates to zero. Again, get your own coordinates out because your coordinates will be different depending on your world. But mine are that, so that's how it's going to be. Oh, I also forgot to mention you need to build this type of thing. Yeah, this will kill the item. And this way, right here will add your tag. Now you're going to want to go over here. This is going to test for the tag. This is going to play a sound of you charging up the attack. This is going to give you a little animation of like your fist using the attack. And it has a 10 tick delay. This will give you a little particle like of dust you know, flying around you. This will summon a COD. It doesn't really have to be a COD. It could be anything, but I just used a COD for this. This removes striking after uh, 200 ticks. Now, this doesn't have to be 200 ticks. It could be shorter, could be longer, depending on how long you want the attack to last, but I'm doing 200. This will load your item back in to give it back to you, and it has a 100 tick delay. And this will set a redstone block back on the test for command. Now, this is just a little quote. It doesn't really have to be something like this. You could really just rename it to anything. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here. And this is going to teleport the, uh, the said COD to a certain location. Then you're going to want to go over here and run this particle. This will affect the COD with uh, regeneration, so nothing can kill it. This will affect it with invisibility, so you so nobody can see it. And this is the particles. This can be. This is just completely optional, but I like to do this one just because why not? It looks cool. And then this will uh, do a little air set block. You just destroy. This just destroy the block to add the effect. And this will this will summon a mine. Uh, an ender crystal that'll explode and deal damage. And this will this could will also remove your tag if you actually land the hit. This will affect you with speed so you can like be faster to hit the enemy. And this will affect you with resistance so the uh the freaking end crystal doesn't kill you. Now this right here is completely useless. I completely forgot why this was here. Let me just get rid of that. It's really nothing. And there you have it. There you have your aura flowing striking fist. Actually, no, it was like flowing aura striking fist. So it's kind of like a Rasengan or a Chidori from Naruto. And the reason I did the fall damage falls from earlier, because the end crystal will launch you back and you could take fall damage. So that's why I recommend you do that. Unless you have some kind of buff on your on your build already, which could prevent that. Now next up, you're going to want to do the same thing for the previous command, except for this guy. So what you're going to want to do, this will teleport your set attack to you. You're going to want to drop this. Again, the same thing, except put defense instead of striking. Save it, just be sure that it is saved. And then you're going to want to go back over here. Again, do not set a redstone block yet because you're going to need to remember your coordinates. But first off, build something like, like just build something like this. Then what you're going to want to do is this right here. This will test for your attack. This is going to remove 10 stamina from you because again, cost 10 stamina to use. This will remove five of your hockey as well. 
because this attack does require um, observation hockey to use, as shown right here. Like the eyes will shine. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the redstone block back. Yeah, but when I when I tested later, the eyes will shine red, like how Katakuri uses his, uh, observation hockey. No, Katakuri does not use these attacks. These is just this is just for an OC of mine. Okay, again, get your coordinates. Right here has to be on top of this block. And you have to put them in here. Again, this will be different depending on your world. And now, it, this will add a defense tag. Right here, the defense tag. Now, this is what I was talking about. You're going to want to put this particle. It doesn't really have to be the redstone. Like, you could do any particle you want. It's up to you. But I recommend just using that. If y'all don't know how to use particles or all the particles in Minecraft, I'll link a video to where another guy did a video on this. And this will play a sound, like if you're activating observation hockey. Like, you see right here? Like how Katakiri uses it in, uh, in One Piece. This will affect you with resistance, so when mobs come up to hit you, they can't really damage you. Here, here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it real quick. I'm going to test it with this this guy right here. Oh, I forgot to put the redstone block back on. Hold up. I have to break the I'm going to break this guy's ankles. I'm going to just put this guy this block back. I'm going to head back over here. And watch what happens. Watch. He gets he gets sent flying. Now this guy really won't Bro really wants to see Jesus. That's crazy. So yeah. That's basically how that command works. Again, this is just a little quote. Nothing too special. Now, here is where you're going to add the enemy's tag. Whoever decides to attack you. This will play a sound as if they were getting punched. And you will get an animation of like if you were punching them. Now this right here will only work sometimes for some reason. I don't really know how to get it to work fully. But yeah, there's just another quote. These quotes are optional by the way. You don't have to add them. But I just find it is a cool effect. Anyway. So this will send them flying. This is going to damage them for a certain amount. This is a little particle effect that they're going to have. And this is going to be a little sound for like them getting hurt. Then you're going to want to remove their tag after like 100 ticks. Remove defense after 100 ticks. This will structure load your item after 10 ticks. This will set back the re the redstone block onto, uh, onto the said block over here of like the first block where it tests for the attack. All right, so there you have it. There is my Minecraft tutorial on these two custom attacks that I made along with, um, you know, the stamina and hockey build system thing. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go follow me on TikTok. Yes, I finally have a TikTok. I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below. You guys can go check me out on there. Also, go check out my other channel, um, Yonko Tom Edits, and uh, join the Discord server. All three of those will be linked down in the description below. That is going to do for this video. My name is Yonko Tom, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.